Good morning from Los Angeles, California. Home of the Dodgers, the Lakers, the Trojans, the Bruins, Hollywood, and the Full Breath Solution. I'm Dr. Brian Karopian, and we're shooting this video to show you how it can be more effective in your hands. When the Full Breath Solution is seated, it's different than all the advancers. One, we do absolutely no advancing of the mandible. And two, we control the tongue. Whereas the, the advancers pull the jaw forward, trying to pull the tongue forward. We utilize this, what we call either translingual or transpalatal bar to control and inhibit the tongue. And then we put a little tail that we expand and then we push down very similar to the MD's tongue blade that pushes the tongue down so he can see the airway. Well, we're going to keep the airway open with this. Let's take a look at what do we do for the 90% that can tolerate the full breath with the tail because that's what we're going to be doing over and over and over again. Well, after giving them one week to wear it. Now, why do we give them one week? We want them to become acclimated and used to it and it's comfortable and it's part of them before we start making additions to the tail. I've learned that if you have them wear it for the one week, the rest of the way goes easy. You can add to it without causing problems. So now we're ready to add to this. Well, look, we're gonna be smart. We're gonna add wax first because wax, by putting what we want on with wax, if they're uncomfortable, we know it, we can take it off easily or even cut the wax in half. So we use periphery wax, there's numerous brands on the market, but you can go to any one of the, your dental supply companies and get the periphery wax. And here's what it looks like. This is what you put around an, uh, an impression tray to extend the impression tray. And so I am going to take a small amount, here we go, and we're going to take it right here to the tail and we're going to put it right on here. it sticks really well because everyone's worried oh it's going to fall off and go down their throat no way jose it's it's hanging in there and there it is and that you see i've extended i've extended the width a little bit and i've extended the length give them a little feel for what's going on all right now we're going to do step two of the first addition and that's to take some more of this wax and watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold it three times. There it is. I folded it three times and then we're going to cut it off right here and place it right back and look what we have. On the underside, the inferior of the tail, we've made it thicker. We're starting the depression. Here's what it looks like from the inferior, the three bars. And here's what it looks like from the side, the three bars. We've, we've added the wax, both in length and inferior. I like to put it in the hot water. It just makes the wax easier to work with and now all I'm going to do is just kind of spread it out and there we go. Let's look at it from the side. Let's look at it from the back and we'll look at it inferiorly. There it is. Now we try this in the mouth again. Oh he likes it. No problem. Now you can see here the acrylic, the, the, the liquid is purple, and then the powder. 
And utilizing this that you can get from Space Maintainers, the acrylic will come out the same color as the body of the appliance. So it won't look like something Mickey Mouse or added. I highly recommend you get the, you order the acrylic that is with the purple monomer from Space Maintainers. All right, so let's start our mixing. All right, here I am mixing up the acrylic. We've removed the wax. We remember what it looked like. Now this, we are not going to add this on exactly, but it's going to be close. This is not a three-quarter crown that everything's got to be exact. So it's going to be a millimeter, a half a millimeter too long, a half a millimeter too short, half a millimeter too high, too low. All right, so let's, here we've got the acrylic mixed. We're going to be placing it on the inferior of the tail. Only on the tail. We're not going across the whole bar. You know, this kind of looks like the way the wax was. And we can see on the back how we added. We approximated how thick the wax was there. And we can see that we've come down. It's about the same way we were. And so now we're going to let this harden up. And we're, then we're going to go take it over to the both the lathe and the hand piece. Get this smoothed up. You are going to see me working on the superior portion of the tail. And now I am taking it. We are going to make it thinner. So it's not going to be so thick. And you can see already, I've taken, it's going to be taking a step down. All right, I added some acrylic at the inferior, at the end where it tended to come up. And as we look at this right now, we see that the inferior of the tail is parallel to the occlusal plane. Beautiful. That's step one. We're going to be doing that. And we're also going to notice this is pretty symmetrical. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's pretty symmetrical. Pretty rounded. So we got to take heed of that because the patients are very aware, and I have found out, if it's leaning to one side just a little bit. They pick that up and come back, and they will give you that. Now, on the other hand, I also have rounded all these corners here and here, down here, up here, back here. You've got to make sure those are rounded, those are polished. If you want to use a rubber wheel with it as well, great. But here we are. First adjustment. We've added to the tail in length and depression. So now we're going to try it in the mouth and the patient says, great. Now, we send them home and I send them home for two weeks with this. So the first time I send them home where we first insert the mouthpiece, they get sent home for one week. Now they've come back. We've added the wax and the acrylic and here we are. And now we're going to send them home for two weeks. And they're going to come back with some of them are going to come back and tell me this is bothering them. Small percentage, though. Very, very small percentage. Well, we have to make it smaller, lift it up. Some we have to even make it really small. And then play the game all over again. Well, you know how to play the game now. Playing the game is adding more acrylic. Well, you know how to do that. You know how to add the acrylic, let it harden, trim it at the lathe, trim it with the hand piece, polish it. Piece of cake. All right, send them home for two weeks. They come back. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I, I can handle it. My snoring is down just a little bit, but I am still snoring. Well, we need to do some more expansion of the tail. So guess what we go back to? Our old friends, the beating wax. And let me take some beating wax out. And here we go. I'm adding more. 
Now the question is, how long are we going to make this tail? And this is something that I didn't get for a long time and I just used to kind of play around with it, whatever it was, and that's what I did and however they felt. But let's, let's examine this. Someone has a short tongue from here to here and we put this in. We are almost all the way back to where the tongue ends and curves down and here's the uvula right back here. Well, we're not going to be able to go a heck of a lot longer than that. But where I really lost it and have found that this is where we're going to win the game is, we get people with a, say, a medium-sized tongue, not all the way here, but to here. So this may be the short of the back. Well, I want you to take a good look at that. Well, how are you going to look at that? Well, you're going to get your mouth mirror, and you're going to put your mouth mirror in and see where this is. How much space is there back behind here? There may be a quarter, there may be a half an inch, shockingly. And if we're going to add, I like to add parallel to the surface of the tongue. So I add across. Now, if it's a short tongue, I'm going to add down. So if we're all the way to the back of the throat, right here, we're going to add and go down. We're going to depress the tongue. And we are going to open the airway with depression on a short tongue. Medium-sized tongue, we're going to go back. Now how about if it's a long tongue? And boy, I get some people with some long tongues. And I've made some tails that go back like this shockingly, absolutely shockingly to me, shockingly to other dentists, they just can't even believe it. But one of the things we found out, the reason we snore is that the tongue goes back and instead of closing the airway 100% and slamming it shut, it goes back 80% and leaves a little opening. And then that small opening the air from the nose or the mouth comes down and rushes down, picks up speed. The Venturi and the Bernoulli principles of, of physics, going from a large opening to a small opening, the of a fluid picks up speed, everything starts to vibrate and we go, that's that. So, if we can stop, if we can open the airway and make it bigger instead of 20%, let's make it a 40, 50, 60% opening, we're not going to get the snoring and that's why at that point we're ready to run another sleep test. But here we are, small tongue, we're all the way back. What are we going to do? We're going to add it just the way we added it when we did it the first time. We're going to add some length and then we're going to do our folds. We've got our three folds. We're going to add our wax on the back in the three folds. Oh boy, we are down. You can see we're down quite a bit. And well, we're a little short right there at the end, but we can add a little wax to it. And then we're going to go in and add the acrylic the same way we did the first time you saw. You know how to do that. Take this off, add the acrylic, let it harden, trim it, smooth it, polish it. All right, but now let's take a look at the guy with the longer tongue. Because with the longer tongue, we don't want to just depress right here. We really got to depress a little farther back. So if we depress here, we're, we're probably not going to win. So we're going to want to add, we're going to be able, we have to know and see where this is. Now one of the things I will do sometimes is shave this down, this curve right up here. Shave this down. Now, if I do that, I want you to take one good note of this. Right here, in the two corners, 
I add a little bit of wet, wet acrylic and thicken it up so that this is better attached and stronger. Because if we do some taking this down, this thins. So, if you want a better view of the back, you shave it, you shave it down here in a curve, curve it down. Add some acrylic here for strength, polish it, and now you got a better view. Or you use your mouth mirror to see where are we, how far back. But I want to get back here. So the, I'm going to, and remember I said, we're going to not depress yet, but we're going to lay it on right on the top of the tongue, just covering it, but going back. You know, there's minimal depression. I mean, it's not like there's no depression, but there will be some minimal depression. And here's that tongue again, and wow, we're back even more. But we may have to stop here. That's all I can tolerate. We're now going to go back and add acrylic again. This will now be longer. Trim it, and now the tail will go all the way back here. Now, if they come back in two weeks, we're going to give them two weeks, and they say, well, I'm still snoring some. At that point, we've got one of two choices. Well, one of three choices. One choice is we can add wax, do the same thing, and add it all the way from front to back. And we depress the tongue some more. We now take this to the lab. It's, we try it in the mouth. It's comfy. They can take it. We've taken steps, and we will get everything to, from this is too long to this is too much down here. Well, we make it smaller. You're bright. They tell you that, that yeah, the last thing you added is too much. You make it smaller. And we go ahead, and we now enlarge 